Hello everybody. So here I have the latest version of my water memory cleaning device and I made it so that it can be printed in one piece without the need for any supports when printing it. And also the magnet array is included within the print itself. So yeah, this is kind of the finished version of how it should be. Um, the 3D printing files will be attached in the video description. Just make sure when you are printing it, the file, the original file, is mirrored to what you see here, meaning that the funnel, this funnel here, the inlet, is on the other side. So if you live on the northern hemisphere, make sure that you mirror your print in your slicer. So that the inlet comes in on this side and you get a clockwise rotation from the water vortex. And for those who haven't seen my previous videos, I will just shortly explain how this device works. You fill in the water here, then it comes down here and it creates a water vortex that flows through this hole here and through this magnet array. I will explain the array later. And yeah, it comes out here. So basically we have two hyperbolic funnels here and here that will create a uh, yeah, vortex movement of the water itself. And um, there are two effects of this. One, the water vortex itself will um, slightly decrease the air bubbles in the water itself and restructure it and also the water breaks itself when it flows in a rotational direction compared to when there is no rotational movement and it just flows through this hole. I will show you this later. And this is necessary so that the, yeah, the water flow is reduced so it has more time to pass through this magnet array and therefore the memory of the water gets cleansed. You can imagine the cleansing process like um, if you have a tape or, or uh, this magnet tapes, the old ones, or a hard drive. If you put a strong magnet on it, it will also erase the data on it. And yet yeah, the same kind of goes for water. And yeah, therefore the quality of the water um, drastically increases when you pass it through this device. I've tested this for the last few months and I always drink my water from this device only. For me, um, yeah, the quality of the water improves drastically when you use this. So now I will show you the magnet array itself that I have here. This is the exact same array that is placed in here and I will show you what this looks like under the magnetic viewing film. So let me zoom in a bit like this. Yeah. Hope this gets sharp enough. So this is the top view that you can see here and now I will turn it a bit then you will see the side view of it and also on the other side it looks the same. So yeah this magnet array I will just disassemble it. It's basically containing out of two circular magnet arrays and I've placed the magnets so that um, all the poles are facing the same direction inwards meaning for example this one all poles of these five millimeter cube magnets are facing inwards here we have all south poles facing inwards and on the other one it's exactly the inverse meaning all north poles are facing inwards and 
you attach them you get this interesting field that I've showed you just and yeah basically creates what I can see under this viewing film if you look at the center you will see there's no color meaning no magnetic field it creates kind of the same um, yeah vortex that we create with the water and that passes through and I think this is kind of an yeah ideal magnet array for this purpose so yeah I've printed a lot of them so far meaning let me zoom out a bit more than just one <laughs> and yeah I will also sell these ones if you're interested or you don't have a 3d printer of course I will also um, give you the 3d file for free if you want to make it yourself and now I will just shortly show you how to assemble it if you make it yourself um, yeah these are all pre-assembled and finished but um, if you want to do it yourself just take a stack of these five millimeter cube magnets make sure that you get the strongest possible ones these are N52 Gauss magnets these are kind of the strongest ones you can get if you have only N45 or N42 it's also fine but yeah of course the stronger the magnets the better and for the assembly itself you will have to take a compass or any other magnetic polarity finding device and yeah you just look for example we have south pole here and I take the south pole of the array on this side and the north pole on the downside but you can see on here as well we have on one side um, south pole and on the other side we have north pole so that's why you start off with south pole inserting first meaning south pole inwards first so you take south pole side facing this inward and then you place them like this here and let me get a tool I used just a normal screwdriver you can use any other tool that is small enough to fit in here and yeah you place it over the hole here and then you just take the screwdriver and push it in and you do this for all of these eight holes and this is basically then the first layer of magnets that you have attached and after that you make the second layer you make sure that you have north pole on this stack and then you do basically the same but with north pole inwards and this will result in a field when you look at this array that here is north pole here is south pole it will be like this so that south pole is here and north pole is here I think that's quite easy to understand and to build also they will um, yeah they will stay in there they will not come out they fit quite nicely so no matter if you shake it they will just stay in place which is kind of nice and um, also I want to tell you about the water memory itself there is a very interesting documentary out there from Luc Montagnier um, he yeah, researched and discovered um, the existence of water memory itself and did some scientific research on it there were also others but um, this documentary is mostly about him I will also link it in the video description 
the first 20 minutes are the most interesting and yeah so there is also enough scientific evidence from all around the world that shows that water actually holds memory and if you just drink tap water depending on where you live or what tap water you have it is quite important that you cleanse it I mean this doesn't purify it in meaning that it doesn't kill any bacteria or viruses or it doesn't remove any impurities and usually this isn't a problem with tap water uh, it's normally clear enough but you have to also remove the memory of the water itself and yeah this makes it better to consume for you and better for your health so now let me show you the device actually in action when I fill it up and how to use it so this is the device in action when it's actually used uh, you fill in the water here like shown then it flows down into this funnel and as you can see it creates a water vortex right here that passes through the magnet array and comes down out here and now I will just fill up a glass of water you can see here and I've already filled in some fruit juice at the bottom let me just show you it will take a short while to fill it up but yeah you gotta have to take this time <laughs> it's worth it and then I will turn off the water just empty out the rest of it and you can already see it comes down in a lot of droplets and fills up the water like this or the glass and as you can see here the top part is just I will adjust the camera a bit Wait a moment, so you can see it better. Like this, and maybe zoom out a bit. So you can see the top part is only clear water, and yeah, the fruit juice kind of stays at the bottom. I think this is a quite interesting effect that always appears when you fill it up with the device and yeah if you fill it up just regular from the tap this effect doesn't appear I don't know why exactly this happens but yeah I thought this was interesting to show so yeah that's about it for this device um, feel free to print it yourself make it yourself Tell me what you think of it and if it benefits you. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and goodbye.